even as Satan deceived the first humans to do their own thing and lied to them, telling them that they could become gods, Satan is using MTV to condition the youth of the world to do their own thing and live as though they were their own gods. Even as this MTV advertisement demonstrates, MTV is Satan's vehicle to reach the masses around the world. Bob Pittman, the founder and former president of MTV, stated, quote, The strongest appeal you can make is emotionally. If you can get their emotions going, make them forget their logic, you've got them. MTV founder Bob Pittman also boasted, quote, At MTV, we don't shoot for the 14-year-olds. We own them. MTV is using the subversive power of music and popular teen idols to deceive our children. If you are a parent, MTV is targeting your child. If you are a young person, MTV is targeting you. Madonna told the LA Times that she's a very tormented person most of the time. She went on to state that she's possessed by many demons. And just what are these demons doing through Madonna? Here we see that they are promoting homosexual marriage and seeking to destroy God's plan for the family. At the 2003 MTV Video Music Awards, Madonna, Britney Spears, and Christina Aguilera promoted homosexual marriage. As Madonna descends from the wedding chapel as a groom, she takes Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera in a lesbian polygamous type relationship. Why was Madonna fondling and French kissing Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera on stage before millions of their impressionable fans at the MTV Music Awards on August 28th of 2003? Madonna has acknowledged that she uses homosexual activity on stage before her fans to desensitize them. She knows that if she shows homosexual activity over and over and over again, the convictions of her audiences will be eroded. Listen to what Madonna said to a homosexual magazine. Quote, they digest it on a lot of different levels. Some people will see it and be disgusted by it, but maybe they'll be unconsciously aroused by it. If people keep seeing it and seeing it and seeing it, eventually it's not going to be such a strange thing. Why did Pepsi pay both Madonna and Britney Spears millions and millions of dollars to advertise their product? Pepsi is well aware that if Madonna or Britney Spears is seen drinking a Pepsi, millions of their fans will turn out and drink Pepsi. What does this have to say with Madonna's admission that she practices homosexuality on stage to promote homosexuality? Sadly, the sexual perversion we're seeing portrayed on MTV stage before their millions of fans is a sign of the times. Newsweek reported that every society in history that has embraced homosexuality as a lifestyle was later destroyed. Egypt, Babylon, Greece, and Rome all fell after they began to embrace different forms of sexual immorality. In this classic, The Rise and Fall of the Roman Empire, Gibbons places sexual immorality on the top of the list when giving reasons the great Roman Empire fell. Jesus Christ warned that just prior to Armageddon, the world would be as it was in the days of Lot. Sodom and Gomorrah were destroyed with fire and brimstone as men turned to men in gross homosexual activity. God's word says in Romans chapter 1 verse 26, quote, That is why God abandoned them to their shameful desires. Even the women turned against the natural way to have sex and instead indulged in sex with each other. God's word warns that in the last days, perilous times will come, and men will be lovers of self, and they will be without family love. Sadly, here before the millions of impressionable fans, the three female megastars of the last decade, Madonna, Britney Spears, and Christina Aguilera, tell their fan base, quote, We're bored with the concept of right and wrong. We're bored with the concept of right and wrong. It's amazing how Madonna, Spears, and Aguilera sing about being bored with the concept of right and wrong when adversely affecting others with evil. Yet if Madonna's children were abducted or molested, she would immediately cry foul, and the concept of right and wrong would be quite relevant. Madonna told Oprah Winfrey that she won't even let her children watch television to protect them from the corrupting influences. However, Madonna is more than willing to corrupt our children. Sadly, John Wayne Gacy, the serial killer like Madonna, Spears, and Aguilera, was bored with the concept of right and wrong and went on to rape and kill over 30 boys. We're bored with the concept of right and wrong. Adolf Hitler was bored with the concept of right and wrong and went on to kill over 6 million Jews. We're bored with the concept of right and wrong. Jim Jones was bored with the concept of right and wrong and laced his Kool-Aid with poison and killed many of his own followers. The poisonous promotion of sexual immorality among our youth by MTV, the music industry, and Hollywood has sadly resulted in the horrifying consequences of sexually transmitted diseases like AIDS and herpes, broken marriages and divorce, the murder of multitudes of little babies through abortion, and even suicide. Sadly, MTV and company are poisoning millions of their fan base. 
Watching MTV and listening to this kind of music is like getting a spiritual blood transfusion from hell. Sadly, hardened criminals 50 years ago, if they were to be let out of prison and advance into the future to see what's taking place on MTV and popular media, would blush and be repulsed. Sadly, Satan has taken American culture far down the grease pole to hell. Those who claim to be Christians should be taking a stand and separating themselves from these things and preaching the Word of God and standing up for righteousness. Sadly, even MTV commercials, which ironically claim to promote safe sex, promote the very homosexual lifestyle that produces AIDS. Fred, I would like to kiss you again. And I would also like to talk about using prophylactics in case we want to go any further in the bedroom. Prophylactics. Give it up for the gay Beatles. Queer eye for the straight guy. One of the focal points of the MTV 2003 Video Music Awards was Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, as it promoted both the TV show and the homosexual lifestyle. Satan is using MTV and the homosexual agenda to bring the youth over to the kingdom of darkness. Here, one of the homosexuals from Queer Eye invites somebody to come over to the dark side. Enough! You, you had us at product. All right, Jimmy, come on over to the dark side. The dark side. Dark side. It's okay. 